Robot in Three Days. Robot in Three Days is an extension of the FIRST Robotics Competition, or FRC, where individuals from post-secondary, high school, and even junior high work together to develop a strategy, then design, fabricate, and build a robot in three days. The AC Robotics RI3D Team's three-day-long build season begins here at the Central Public Library in downtown Calgary for the 2020 FIRST Robotics Competition kickoff. Is unprecedented in scale. 2020 Infinite Recharge revealed a new game element, interesting climbing dynamics, and a spectacle of a field centerpiece. With the game revealed, it was time to get to the build space. The team first began brainstorming in smaller groups. Some groups thought that the most important task was shooting for the high goal. Others thought that aiming for the low goal would allow the team to advance quicker to the next stages. But the main idea thrown around was conveyor belt and flywheel shooter to launch the power cells but also store multiple at a time. The team also found that the grappling hook and elevator were the two endgame tactics that seemed the most intuitive for the climb, with some interesting strategies being to motorize the grip of the robot to move side to side, or creating a robot that could hook exactly in the center of the generator switch and carry other robots with it. Uh, I'm not sure if we have the omnibus for this actually, but we were thinking an H drive. So the idea is that with that is that we can then maneuver pretty easily to make sure we get into position quickly and efficiently. Like if we were to use a typical tank drive and we're like, oh no, we're two inches too far to the right, we'd have to like back up and then like try and like you guys know like when you miss when you park, it'd be kinda like that, except a little bit more painful. Do you know what I mean? The idea is that it sucks the balls in off the ground and then there's a vertical chute that has like conveyors on it that will carry the ball up, balls up. And then at the top, there's a flywheel, and so the conveyors will just carry it out, and then you can turn the flywheel on, and it'll spit it out. And also the idea is that the angle will be like hard built, it won't be adjustable, so that they'll always shoot out at a consistent angle. The hexagon that you're shooting into has reflective tape, so on an actual like competition, you would have time to probably make this system where you can have a program look for this. You ball flat, ball all the conveyor belts, so then you can when the conveyor belt rotates, then it pushes the ball forward using the flat. And then it would just have like almost like a passive rail to just kind of like drop it into the low into like the low target. And the benefit of doing that is that it would be brutally quick and you literally could not miss it. For the end game part of it, we were thinking of a simplistic idea of just having two grappling hooks. So what you would do is you have the triangles and then you shoot them through the slits. And if it overshoots, for example, then you just back it up and it would catch on it. Uh, if you have two hooks, you can go on either side of the central bar. So if one robot is going on that, straddling that central bar, you're self-leveling. We need to make it simple. We need to make it so that we can get as many points as possible, as efficiently as possible, thus making this system of one flywheel doing two jobs of both changing the color of the wheel plus shooting the balls very simple. The team ultimately decided to build two separate robots. And with that, it was time to disassemble the previous RI3D robot and begin prototyping and building makeshift field elements. What, what, are, what are like the preliminary things to do uh, in the like first stages? Code, like set up like basic um, systems for like different mechanisms, and then as they develop the robot more, we can like tune it. That makes know. sense. Like a basic framework. Yeah, a framework. Our current task is to build the, one of the chassis for the two robots. And what we've been doing is making sure our robot chassis fits within a frame perimeter and uh, has enough room for both the intake mechanism and the electrical board. Currently, we're working on the wheels, getting them mounted onto the frame, and also making sure that we chose the right size to actually be able to go over that uh, small bump in the uh, shield generator. Um, for this, this is the shooting mechanism for our robot. Uh, these wheels uh, that are now very nicely spaced that we've been working on will shoot the ball uh, into the port, hopefully very accurately and consistently. Uh, now that we have all the parts ready and all the gears found, now we just need to mount the motors and hopefully it will be ready to go fairly soon. Infinite recharge. What do you guys think it will be like? It'll be a lot like, of gear. Like, <laughs> soft. I'd plug the other team's batteries. I think Infinite Recharge this year is going to be water game. Definitely water game. It's definitely going to be a water game. I want it to be a water game. 